Let's talk about how to utilize equity in your current home, purchase investment properties. Those investment properties will spit off cash flow and therefore pay for your primary or whatever else you want to use. You have two ways to do this that I'm going to talk about in this video. They are a HELOC or a cash out refinance. Let's talk about the HELOC first. We're going to use an example where your primary home is worth $700,000 and you have a $400,000 mortgage. You're going to go find a HELOC. You can talk to your favorite mortgage broker. A local credit union is probably going to have the lowest rate though. So probably find a credit union, call your person, see where they send you. Anyways, you're going to be able to find a HELOC that gives you up to 80% of your home's value. No problem. You can probably find it for 90% and get even more, a bigger line of credit, but let's do 80% to keep it conservative for this video. So they're going to give me up to 560 k in funding. I already have a $400,000 mortgage, which gives me $160,000 line of credit. Now I'm going to take that 160 k I'm going to buy one short-term rental. Let's call it ballpark 500 k purchase price. It's going to spit out 100 k a year in gross income. Now that's totally doable. I bought two homes for way less than this that gross that. So you have a 50% expense ratio. So out of that 100K, you keep 50 grand net income. That HELOC, let's call it 10% interest rate. Again, very conservative. Go find a community bank or credit union and you're probably gonna be under 10%, but let's call it 10. Costs you 16 grand a year in simple interest, $1,333 a month to have that HELOC, this 160K line of credit. But the property you purchase is spitting out 50K net per year, which is $4,166 averaged out per month, all right? 4166 minus the cost to obtain the line of credit. Credit, 1,333 equals $2,833 in monthly net cash flow. So you can take this money, you can whatever, buy a dope car, buy your next investment property. I think you should use it on assets to keep growing your snowball. But let's talk about option number two. So you don't want a short or medium term rent. You want to go long term, which is the least amount of cash flow we can secure on a property. We're going to buy three long term rentals because let's call them 150K purchase price each. We're going to allocate 50K to each. So we still have $10,000 left on that line of credit. Very doable. We're going to put 20% down. We're going to get 8% interest rate. So it's going to cost us 1200 bucks per month per house, 3,600 bucks, but they each rent for $2,000 per month. So I'm grossing $800 profit per month per house, 800 bucks times three, 2,400 bucks gross income from the properties minus the cost of the HELOC, which is $1,333. I'm cash flowing $1,067 a month. You should set that aside, buy more investment properties, whatever plan for future issues with roofs, furnaces, ACs, whatnot. But anyways, I just wanted to teach you one way you can use utilize a HELOC. Now think of all this stuff. The only difference if we go the cash out refinance is a HELOC is a line of credit. So when I have 150K out, I can pay it down and then draw back on it just like a credit card. Okay. This is my line of credit. That's the maximum. When I do a cash out refinance, they are giving me the cash. So they're going to give me 160K cash, like a check at closing. And when I spend that down, it's just poof gone. So it doesn't operate like a line of credit.